let's take a look at the default WordPress themes throughout the years. Classic. Prior to version 1.2, WordPress shipped with the classic theme. That puts this theme at its peak in 2003 and 2004. You can clearly see their origins as a blogging platform since the page is primarily dedicated to displaying long form content. There's also no fancy header styling to be found here. Default. This is what most users think of as the first default WordPress theme. You can tell blogging was still the focus here, however, it did offer a lot of flexibility. So much so, in fact, that this theme stuck around as the go-to WordPress design for five years, from 2005 to 2010. 2010. In 2010, WordPress started releasing a new default theme with every major version. This theme introduced a handful of changes, including a header image and top bar navigation. WordPress 3.0, which this shipped with, also included the concept of widgets. 2011, although not much different from 2010, this theme represents many updates, including HTML5 compatibility, improved custom page layouts, performance updates, and so on. This is also the first theme to use a mobile responsive design. 2012, speaking of responsiveness, that was the primary focus of this theme. It also signaled WordPress's departure as a blogging only platform and its new status as a fully featured CMS. This included a customizable homepage that didn't need to feature a blog. 2013, its flashy header and striking typography earned mixed reactions from users. This theme remained responsive while pivoting back to WordPress's foundation as a blogging platform. It wasn't as popular. However, it brought widgets to the footer area. 2014, as the first magazine style default theme, it included extensive navigation options in both the sidebar and the header. Featured images were also a standout element of this theme. This theme was ideal for multi-author sites. 2015, returning to the minimalistic vibe, it was created to be flexible and work well with the customizer. It also includes new social icons and lends itself well to short form blog posts. With plenty of white space, visitors can scroll through your content distraction free. 2016, this is another content focused theme. However, it also brought back multiple widget areas and enabled users to easily showcase related posts at the end of their articles. Apart from that, there's nothing too remarkable about it. It's still in use though on over 300,000 sites. 2017. The expansive header makes this another highly recognizable default theme. It was built with business sites in mind. The header background can display video. This theme also sports a full width layout that keeps visitors scrolling. More than 1 million users have this theme currently enabled. There was no 2018 theme due to the development of the block editor. 2019, the introduction of the block editor led to a highly minimalistic theme to showcase its functionality. It offers the highest degree of flexibility among the default themes to this point. Sadly though, this theme did not rise to the level of popularity as its predecessor. 2020, WordPress continued to seek flexibility and block editor compatibility with this theme. It's easy to customize and makes an excellent foundation for child themes. This theme also introduced group and column blocks for improved layout design. And finally, 2021. That brings us to present day. Advertised as suitable for portfolios, business websites, and blogs, this flexible theme includes new block patterns and builds on the advancements made by previous themes. It offers multiple color palettes for you to choose from, nine post formats, and dark mode support. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed a trip down memory lane. If you did, then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.